everyone, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm taking you guys along to work with me at Starbucks. If you didn't see the last one I did, I will leave that linked below along with my Starbucks playlist that has a bunch of different Starbucks related videos for you to check out. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step how we create some of our most popular drinks at Starbucks. So I hope you enjoy, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and let's get straight into it. So the first drink I'm showing you how to make is an iced latte. The first step is to add any syrups. This is a tall size so I added three pumps and then we press the shots. So two shots for tall and grande size and three shots for venti size. Then we pour the milk, this should be to the third line but this one was for me and I like a little bit less ice. Then we're going to take a tall scoop of ice and pour this into the cup and there we have the ice latte. And now for the regular hot latte, so all of the pitcher jugs have lines inside, I don't know if you see them, just to measure out the milk. So we pour milk to the tall line for tall size, aerate this for 4 to 6 seconds and 2 shots and then we just pour the milk into the cup. And at Starbucks you should always try to get some kind of latte art on the lattes when you're handing them out. And now for the caramel macchiato which is one of my favourite drinks. So first of all vanilla syrup, 3 pumps for tall size, milk to the tall line and we're going to aerate this a little bit more than you do for a latte. And then we press 2 shots into the shot glass. And then we're going to pour the milk into the cup. This is really important that the milk goes first and that the shots are poured on top because this is a macchiato and that's how it's made. Basically a latte upside down. And then for the best part which is the caramel drizzle. And this was so hard to film one handed so this is a bit of a bad example but it is supposed to be 7 lines by 7 lines and 2 circles. That's how you apply the caramel drizzle. And now for the caramel coffee frappuccino, so starting out with 3 pumps of frapp roast in a grande size, whole milk to the first line, always with whole milk, pour that into the jug, add the caramel syrup or whatever flavour syrup you like, and then we add the base, whether it's coffee base or cream base, same amount of pumps as the syrup, add a grande scoop of ice to the jug, and now the jug is ready to be blended, so we press number 1, and it takes 11 seconds to blend a frappuccino. While we are waiting for that to blend, we're going to add caramel drizzle to the inside of the cup, pour out the frappuccino, add whipped cream and caramel drizzle, and that is a finished caramel coffee frappuccino. All the frappuccinos are made in the same way, so instead of caramel you could add chocolate, white chocolate, etc. For the iced caramel macchiato, we are again starting with vanilla syrup. We're going to pour milk to the third line and then we're going to add ice to the top. Then we are going to add two shots of espresso for a tall and a grande size. And the iced one is really cool because when you pour the shots on top, you really get to see the layers properly. Obviously in a hot one you can't see it, but in the iced one you really get to see the layers and understand the drink a bit better. Finish off with caramel drizzle of course. For the matcha tea latte we're going to pour out some milk, add two scoops of matcha green tea powder and we're going to steam this like latte milk and there's no coffee or anything. This is how it looks, it does look a bit weird, it is a very acquired taste, I personally don't like it but here it is. For the chai tea latte we add 3 pumps of chai syrup, we add a little bit of hot water, it should be a third of the cup is hot water, that's all, and then we're just going to add steamed milk. Our signature hot chocolate is so nice, it's different from the classic one because it's a pre-made milk chocolate mix. We pour half this and half milk, steam it, add cream and that's a signature hot chocolate. The Americano is really simple, it's just hot water with shots of coffee poured on top, two shots for tall, three shots for grande and four for venti. 
you should get to see this nice layer on top which is called the crema. For the flat white we have two shots of espresso, lightly aerated whole milk, should only be aerated for about two seconds and then we just pour this into the cup and again try to create some form of latte art, a flat white is a perfect drink for that. For the mocha, first of all we have three pumps of our mocha which is our chocolate sauce, then we add two shots of espresso, steamed milk and as standard this comes with cream but if you have it without this is how it would look without. And then we have the white mocha which is exactly the same thing except it is with white chocolate instead of dark chocolate. I personally prefer this a lot to the regular dark chocolate. And finally we have the cappuccino, so same amount of coffee as a latte but the milk is different because the milk needs to be aerated a lot more, ideally 6 to 8 seconds so that it comes out really foamy. So that is all for this Starbucks drinks tutorial, I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing behind the scenes if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe check out my other starbucks videos and i will see you guys in a video soon thank you so much for watching bye